Right. Uh, Mark Gardner is the Director of Communications for the Community Security Trust, an organisation dedicated to protecting the Jewish community and which works very closely with the Jewish sporting organisation Maccabi GB on uh, FA anti-racism and anti-Semitism issues and they also uh, work with Kick It Out and he joins us live now from our central London studio. Mark, good afternoon to you. Let's get your reaction first of all that the FA has decided to charge Nicholas Anelka over his uh, gesture. Certainly we welcome the FA charging Nicholas Anelka and with it being aggravated behaviour, the FA quite rightly takes a zero tolerance response to racism. Anti-Semitism needs to be included in that. Anelka has said that his gesture was a tribute to his friend and it wasn't an anti-Semitic gesture. What are your thoughts on that? I think that Nicholas Anelka saying this is in support of his friend Diodone actually makes matters worse. Diodone has a string of convictions for anti-Semitic behaviour. In November, one month before Anelka's gesture, Diodone was fined €28,000 for a song that derides the Holocaust and mocks Holocaust victims. Then, in December, just under one week, just over one week before Anelka made his gesture, more charges were laid against Diodone, this time because he said that a Jewish journalist reminded him of gas ovens. So I'm afraid Nicholas Anelka is saying that this is in support of Diodone. Really, it makes matters worse. Uh, what about the fact that the FA has taken so long to, to come to this charge? Do, do you feel that they've taken too long? There's no doubt that we wish action had been taken sooner, but this was at the beginning certainly a complicated matter. The reaction of the French government, amongst others, has cleared up, I hope, any misconceptions about what this uh, so-called canal gesture actually refers to. It's a kind of artificial Sikh Heil that also means up yours, apparently, in French. So everybody now knows what the gesture is and the FA's action is appropriate. Uh, if he is found guilty, uh, what sort of sanction would you like to see for this sort of offence? We think it's a very serious matter and it should have an extensive sanction. Many matches ban. Usually when these things occur, it's just one footballer trying to wind up another footballer on the pitch and nobody sees it. But in this context, Nicholas Anelka has introduced a very ugly, fake Seekal gesture into British football, indeed into British society as a whole. We now run the risk of real anti-Semites, not Nicholas Anelka, but real anti-Semites making this gesture against British Jews, just as happens in France. That's a terrible situation to now be in because of a footballer. Okay, Mark, thank you very much.